what's up guys I'm gonna model salt the wound here so I've got a little something here I have decided to personalize my suit a little bit and make it more custom to match my bike so we've obviously got the black and white going here but the one thing we're missing is the red so I am going to take this Angelus scarlet red acrylic leather paint and I'm going to paint the lines alongside my suit which after, obviously I have bugs here I have to clean it first and then we're gonna do this and then I'll do the lines on the back as well so I am super excited to see how this turns out and I'm just gonna try to document it a little bit in case anybody else would like to do the same thing let's see the red put it up to me that's pretty close I think it's gonna look good. And there are a number of different reds, so I would definitely, if you do decide to do this, check out the different color options. Don't just settle immediately on some general color because there was like four or five different reds I chose between. So you can get a pretty custom color. I would say that's perfect. Yeah, that's pretty close. We're excited. All right. Let's do this. All right, so here we are. We are ready to start preparing the suit for the painting. So I've got a little bit of rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to kind of clean that area to get rid of any guts because as you can see, it is Florida. It is December and we have a love bug, two love bugs mating right here. So never ending. They have something called a deglazer that I saw some people using on their leather jackets. This is such a small area. I'm really not worried about it having a finish or something that prevents it sticking. I can always touch it up. Although this is, the paint itself is said to have no issue with peeling or cracking or anything like that. So I don't think I'm gonna have a problem and you know a few girls that have done this? There are a couple of people on Instagram that have done this. They're actually the reason why I had the idea to do it. Haven't talked to them about it, but I've seen them posting about it. So, so she's not doing it. not doing any of the logos, just the striping. Yeah, and as you can imagine, trying to do that. I'm just gonna fill in the perforations, which is not the end goal here. So I'm gonna leave some of the white and just do like the striping. Yeah, I think that'll look good. All right, so I picked out a specific smaller brush. It's gonna be better pointing. This is the paint. So I've already shaken it up some. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Got my little helper over here. He's kind of sleeping on the job, but. Typical. He's, I guess, just supervising, which that is typical of a supervisor, isn't it? All right, so I'm just gonna stick some here. I know that it goes on pretty thin and it's gonna be a number of coats, so I don't know. We'll start with a small amount, see where it goes. Okay, so I just wet the brush to soften it. It's a brand new brush, so get it nice and soft. And I'm just going to start painting and applying a number of thin coats. Thankfully, the base color is already white, so it should show up very well. This is really cool. I honestly never knew you could paint leather. I mean, obviously they print on leather, but I don't know, I just never really thought about it. I got so excited when I realized that I could do this. Mm -hmm. I just got a little bit on the black, which truthfully is not really gonna be visible, but 
I've got alcohol and q-tips over here so that I can touch up anywhere. This is supposed to be, it's water-based so it's easy cleanup. Probably not going to worry about that on that first coat. So I'm just going to spread it evenly. And I am going to try not to be too OCD about this because there's going to be plenty of coats going on here. Probably easily four coats. So you're not going to have to sit and watch me do all of this. Maybe we'll do a little... What's the word? Pass forward? Time lapse. Time lapse. There we go. Yeah. Clearly I'm not the one that does the editing here. <laughs> You're just the pretty face. You're the pretty face. Okay. You're the handsome face. I'll be the pretty face. So the really cool thing about where I've chosen to do this is that it's really outlined for me. I imagine by the time you get done with that stripe and this stripe, that stripe back. will be dry enough to redo. Yeah. Second coat. Uh oh. We have a casualty. You doing good? Why, thank you. It's been a while since I've held a paintbrush, but it's like riding a bike. Whoop, got a little bit there, so I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, Perfect. cleans up really easy. So easy. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more here. It's kind of like nail polish. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like painting your nails. I don't wanna like pour it out though, cause I wanna keep it nice and fresh. So I am trying to convince salt to allow me to paint on his suit so maybe you all can help me with that <laughs> i was just talking about doing like a little heart on his wrist in a spot that would go under the gauntlet glove so it, it's never actually visible but it's kind of like he's got me with him all the time if this video gets 500 likes yeah that's a good measure I that's like that. that's decent if it gets 500 likes i'll I'll let her paint my suit too. All right, so where's, you need to. Specify? No, um, if you get a thousand likes, what do I get to do then? If you get a thousand likes, you can draw a, Never mind. Oh boy. <laughs> Never mind. We're gonna keep this PG today. Kid friendly. I'm just gonna take color looks really good. It looks really thing. close to your bike, honestly. Well, I'll say this: it looks close to your rims when they're clean. What are you trying to say? They're not always clean. What are you trying to say, boy? Look at those glasses. And I'm getting a little bit sloppy, so I'm just gonna slow it down. No reason to rush here. Well, except that I have about 10,000 things I want to do today, but what's new? All right, so probably gonna have to let that dry for a second. So I'll just come back down here and get my little. Hey, at least it's water-based. Honestly, I think you're gonna get away with less coats. I'm gonna say two will probably be. We'll see. I full want opacity, it to be. And then. Um, 
maybe three just for good measure. Did you guys just hear that? He just said opacity. He's using very technical terms. <laughs> Are you invested in this? Uh, no, but uh, <laughs> I'm expanding my vocabulary. Nice. Max, look at this guy. Just sleep, like legit sleeping on the job. Max, what are you doing? You didn't pick up my stuff. He's like, okay, you guys need help now? You gonna pick uh, it up? Big stretch and wiggle my butt. Do it, do it, do it. No, I'm not gonna do that to you. So first coat, check it out. First coat, you can kind of see the light. I mean, that's why it looks yeah. a little bit pink in spots. I didn't a little perfectly. transparent in certain places. Didn't but didn't perfectly coat this. But but it's first coat. Yeah. I mean, even that little bit you're rehitting right there, it's really brightening it up. I don't want bright. I want blood well, red. Yeah, yeah. I want blood red. You want it to match the rims. Or garnet red. There's a lot of different colors that we can call it. They have fire red. So we're going to do a couple coats and then we'll check back in? Yes. All right, cool. All right, so we have done two coats so far on the front. It's definitely gonna get one more at a minimum, maybe two. I wanna even that out. You can still see kind of a little bit of splotchiness. So we'll see how that goes. The next thing we're gonna do is the sides. And I noticed while cleaning it that it's going to present a bit of a problem. These folds in here. So they're really hard to get into that so what i'm going to do is hold it like so and try to so put my finger there from the inside yes so i'm putting my finger on the area that i'm painting so i can get inside that stitching also i think i mentioned it in the last one but wet yeah wetting the brush makes all the difference in the world you really want the bristles to be soft. Mm -hmm. And I have to like clean it as I go because it starts to get a little bit stiff and then it's not gonna be as accurate. I do have a smaller brush I might bring into play here. Probably just kind of get some of this, get that first coat. Yeah, real light. Yeah, and then come back in and mm -hmm and continue with the next brush. See? Yeah, you're definitely better off taking your time, even if it takes more coats, because the end result's gonna be a lot better. And for some reason, once he turns this camera on, I feel like I have to rush. No rushing. The pressure is on. Everybody's watching me paint. No pressure. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get another brush to do the touch up, but I just wanted to show you how I tackled this area so that you know what you're in for if you have a similar situation. Yeah, like most, most every race suit is going to have that stretch panel. Like right here, you're going to see it also. Um, obviously this is black, she, she doesn't have to paint that, but certain race suits are going to be certain. Like, I believe mine's white right here. Um, yes, it so is. So if I wanted to paint my, say my suit, my white suit blue, I would have to deal with all of that. Luckily um, for her, she's only got three stretch panels right there um, that she has to deal with. One on the left and one on the right. And the back, she's going to do that stripe red also. And that stripe is just solid, like the front just solid stripes um i think that's it right just those three sections the, the, the back. front back and the sides yeah so it'll give your suit a nice pop and it will be truly personalized so we have the finished products 
Looks really good. And this is like the color of your bike, so you can tell it's very similar. So let's see the side panels. Clearly. This is three coats or two? Romy says hello to the vlog. <laughs> so this is three coats. I believe it was three coats. I was trying to keep track. No, you got some on your fingers. Yeah, so this is at least four coats. I think this might be three coats. So oddly enough, it took better to write here. I thought this was going to be the harder area to paint, but ultimately the it was much more even there. Horses are going crazy. My horses are losing their mind. And there she is. <laughs> okay, so that's our one and our two, and I'm going to, I'm not going to pause, I'm going to finish this because I need to go catch her. So <laughs> <laughs> this is ultimately what we ended up with. Um, it's going to need a little bit of polishing up just to clean up any areas, but I am super thrilled with it. I cannot wait to see how it looks on the bike. And yeah. And on you. you. And on me. Thank <laughs> you. So thank you for watching. If you have any intentions of doing this and you have any questions feel free to reach out and i'm happy to answer them obviously i'm no expert but at least i had a little bit of experience one thing i can give you a tip with so ultimately i figured out by wetting the brush i could keep it soft and the lines were easier i think they stopped the lines were easier so i would like wet it and then put it here and kind of like clean it and then go to the paint so having wet water paper towels q-tips alcohol everything that all came in clutch. So, got any more questions? Happy to answer them. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, peace out and ride safe.